right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Kevin McDonough, and I am the director here at the Scranton School. I'm very happy to see everyone here today. It's a beautiful day. However, it's been raining so much, but thankfully it has gotten so much nicer out. So without further ado, we are going to begin the ceremony. We are going to be starting with Stacy Hammer's preschool class. First award is for the future doctor because she has special interest in health and math. And this person is Kate Catherine Wintermute. <laughs> Our next award is future artist for showing special interests in art and colors. And that is Keela Reynolds. Our next award is Future Fashion Designer for showing great interest in clothing details, and patterns. And this award goes to Emma Alexa Marple, who is not here today. Unfortunately, she's not here, but we'll still give her a round of applause. <laughs> I really want to hire this person. It's the future teacher for showing special interest in school and love, the love of learning. And that is for Alexandra Lapotovsky. <laughs> this next award is for future athlete for showing special interest in health and fitness. And this goes to Kaden Olecki. <laughs> the next person is a future CEO for following all of the rules and expectations, which is a must. And this goes to Natalie McArdle. <laughs> the next award is Future Musical Artist for showing great interest in music and dancing. And this is to Isla Mae Harkins, who is also not here. This is to a future millionaire. <laughs> Why not me? Seriously. So this is for the person who is most creative and innovative. innovative. And this goes to Sean Bohinsky. <laughs> Our next award is Future Author for their love of writing and reading. And this goes to Case Bacacus.
All right, the next class is Linda Treat's preschool class. They will come out to the stage, please. All right, are we ready? Okay. So Linda Treat's class. Uh, Linda Treat is the teacher and Kayla Miller is the paraprofessional here. So the first award is the Ants Award for being a hard worker that never gives up even when the task seems difficult. And that goes to Anderson Knight. You're fine. Okay, so the next award is the Beaver Award for being a friend that builds up others and encourages them with kind words. And that goes to Cullen Spry. <laughs> See? <laughs> Okay, the next award is the Squirrel Award for your ability to find and gather students that are in need of a friend. And that is for Amariah Marple. All right, the next award is the Monkey Award for your ability to bring life and fun to everything you do. And that is for Haley Villas. <laughs> the next award is the Firefly Award. This is for your ability to light up our classrooms. Oh, I thought it was a bug. Sorry, it's a firefly. <laughs> it is for your ability to light up our classroom with your kind heart and your smile. And that is for Jillian Sawitsky. <laughs> it's a very nice bug. <laughs> The next award is the Caterpillar Award for the way that you have grown and changed this year as a reader and as a learner. And that, this goes to Joseph Ramagli. The next award is the Kangaroo Award for always being willing to jump into whatever we are doing or learning. And this goes to Lucas Jacobellis. <laughs> the next award. It's the Owl Award <laughs> for being a diligent student that loves to learn and share knowledge with others. And this goes to Michaela Lepitovsky.
The next award is the Whale Award for having such a big heart that is evident in all that you do. And this award goes to Paul Hudak. Okay, so the next award is the Butterfly Award, the ability to create beautiful pictures and artwork. And this goes to Tr Trinity De Stefano. <laughs> Yay, well, a round of applause for Linda Treat's class. Okay, so now we are having Miss Polis Poliska's class. <laughs> okay, so normally there are three students, but today there is only one. Michaela is the one that showed up, so. Great job, thanks for coming to school today. Okay, so she is the most likely to become a gym teacher <laughs> because she always loves to be active. Another round of applause for her. All right, we next have Mrs. Summer's kindergarten class. All right. So the first award is called the Ice Cream Award. And this goes to the student who is so sweet and kind to everyone. They are always screaming for kindness. 
And this goes to Colton Wentz. All right, the next award is the Scientific Award. And this goes to a student who is always asking questions. This student has a scientific mind, and it goes to Ethan Beagle. All right, the next award is called the Unicorn Award. And this goes to the student that uh, has made great gains all year. This student has made their learning magical. And it goes to Miss Annabella Rolleri. Okay, we'll have a class picture now. Next class is Miss Sarah Beth Clever's first grade class. If you will come out to the stage. Okay, so the first award is for the person that's the reading pro. They've been working on and mastering their reading skills all year. They've been doing a fantastic job. And this award goes to Miss Taylor Beagle. All right, so the next award is the counting champ. This goes to a student who is able to recognize, recognize numbers and know a lot about math. And this award goes to Mr. Aaron Benson. All right, so the next award is called the Handwriting Hero. And this goes to a student who is, has very nice handwriting and is very, very careful. And this award goes to Stan Pizchek. The next award is the Math Master Award. And this is for a student who's doing great at math. This award goes to Adam Piszczek. Yeah, the two of us, we, we do math together, Mom. Yeah. 
All right. All right, next we have Miss Wilson's class. If you will please come onto the stage. Why are the hats with the stars on them? What does that mean? Why do you have hats with stars on them? Yeah, the stars right there. Right, I understand, but why, why do you have the hats? Why do you have the stars? Because we won, right? You, you guys reached your goal, you, run, you won the prize. Oh, I get it now, very good. All right, so the first award Carlisle for Carlisle Fisher for spelling. for spelling, for excellence in spelling and math. So great job. <laughs> it's okay. You have to wait. Yours isn't yet. All right, so the next award goes to Aiden Duran. Why? You just raised your hand. So why do you think you get an award? You don't know? It's being excellent in math. So great job, Aiden. The next award is Excellence in Communication. Who do you think that goes to? Miss Rayleigh Miller. <laughs> Rayleigh Miller. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So the next award is for the best reader for a second grade level. And that goes to David Pearl. All right, the next award goes to the person who is the kindest and the sweetest person and makes the most friends in the class. That is Mr. Max Sorensen. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so the next award is the most improved student, and that goes to Miss Lily Butts.
All right, so the next class to come out will be Miss Natty's. Okay. So the first award is the Bubblegum Award. And this goes to the student who's the most bubbly personality. And this goes to Miss Kaylee Tribe. The are we ready? The next award is the Gummy Bear Award. And this for a student who is caring and the most huggable student in class. And that is Miss Dallas Mar Guzman, but she's not here today. Okay, so the next award is the Smarties Award. And this goes to the smartest, the most intelligent student, and the one that has worked the hardest in all areas. And that's you, Miss Emily. <laughs> all right. So the next award is the Lifesavers Award. And this goes to Jacob Decker because he is always willing to help others in his classroom. Great job. Come over here. Okay, this one, oh, he's absent today. Oh, that one, okay. The next award is the Laffy Taffy Award. This goes to, to the student who has the most fun and enjoys learning, and that is Mr. Daniel Decker. All right, that's it. Let's give him another round of applause. All right, so the next one is for uh, our art, which is our, our art teacher is Mr. Hiscox. <laughs> okay. So the first award to be given out for the arts is this person demonstrates exceptional attention to art, their artist, to craftsmanship and creativity in the art classroom while demonstrating proficiency in multiple, multiple modes of art making. They have also been an inspiration to their friends and classmates. The first recipient is Adam Pizchek. Where's Adam? Come on up.
Okay, so the next arts award is to Stan Piszczek. <laughs> Come on up, Stan. Yeah, it's Stan. <laughs> so congratulations to the, stu the two elementary student winners. So our middle school art award winner this year is Megan Tribe. There's two more. Yeah, there's two more. The next recipient for the Arts Award is for a high school student, is Starlin Sanchez. Okay, and the last award being recognized for their work in the arts this year is given for someone whose special leadership and focus in, um, in arts, in different modes of art, and this person is Logan Warkey. All right, so next we have our PE teacher, Mr. Mance. There he is. Hello. All right. So the first recipient of their PE award is the Tour de France Award for bicycling. This is given to a student who, really? Wow. All right, so this student completed a spinning class. What's spinning? Uh, it's an exercise at the YMCA where they're bicycling and we do it for a very long time. Oh, okay. So this student did complete a spin class without breathing too heavily. And this goes to Mark, what? No, go ahead. You're right. All right. It's Mark Golden. Okay, so this award is called the Helpful Mind Reader Award. And this goes to a person with the instinct and the ability to know exactly what I want and how they can help me without even asking. And this goes to Carlisle Fisher. Great job. Love him care of all bugs so he can get his hands on. <laughs> the next award is called the Nature 
Lover Award. And this is given to a student that loves and cares for all kinds of bugs and worms. It's true. Huh. Okay. And they love to get their hands on as many bugs and worms as they can. And this goes to Sean Behinsky. Oh, he left. Okay, so these awards are going to make you very hungry. Uh, be, please be patient, lunch will be soon. Okay, so for our speech awards, we have Miss Emily Lucas Savage and Miss Nicole Arnell. What do your shirts say? Speech therapists help you taco about it. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> okay. So keep that in mind, okay, while we're doing these awards. So the first award is called the Lettuce Award. Lettuce, okay. Because this person let us celebrate how hard you work in speech. <laughs> and it goes to Mr. Aaron Benson. Okay, so the next award is called the Grapes Award for doing such a great job remembering new words and learning in speech. Who does this go to? Miss Lily Butts. Okay, this next award is called the Ice Cream Award. Because they scream for all of your progress in speech and goes to Mr. Colton Wentz. So our next award is called, it, the captioning is, your, your progress has been terrific, and goes to Mr. Aiden Morton Caposa.
All right, the next awards go to, uh, from, are from our librarian, Miss Eileen Cosgrove. All right, so which one is, should I pick first? I think I'm gonna start with this one. So this award is called the Super Reader Award. And how do you get this reward? You earn the highest number of accelerated reader points. So can you explain what is accelerated reader? So all the kids read books and then take a test on the computers and are able to earn points. And from that point, those points, we get the grade. Depending on what book you read uh, depends on how many points you can earn. So each of these two students, oh, they read a lot this year. All right, so we have two winners. We have Mr. Ryan Locker. <laughs> the second winner is Mr. Aiden Morton Caposa. Now, Ryan, you can join the picture. Okay, so the next class is Miss Sarah Taylor's. <laughs> All right, are we ready? So the first award is like the classifieds awards, okay? So this is called the Blue Collar Award. And this goes to a person who accepts and completes all jobs that are given to him this year. And it goes to Mr. Josh Evans. Okay, so the next award is the Communications Award. This person has greatly improved their signing, expre expressing their wants and their needs, and goes to Miss Bailey Pratt. The next award is called the Community Leader Award. And this is given to a person with who's been an excellent example in character and lead in their leadership skills abilities. And is awarded to Mr. Estarlin Sanchez De La Rosa. And this award is called the Postmaster Award. And is given to this person for all of their 
all of their work during the, their hard work during the job training and is given to Mr. John Dewar. Thank you very much. All right. So we have for middle school, Mrs. Flanagan, Mr. Al McKinder, and Mr. Bob Heil, too. All right. So the uh, paraprofessional for middle school is Mr. Jeff Yaki as well. All right, if you can move over just a little bit. Okay. So the first award is called the Jane Goodall Award. Does someone want to explain why? <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, thank you very much. Ha ha. All right. So this person shows strength and their empathy and sympathy for others throughout this year with their kindness and their strength and their ability to empathize with others. And the person receiving the Good Jane Goodall Award is... Christiana Chrysler. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Our next award is the George Washington Award. This person has an incessant need to help others who are less fortunate than himself. He has grown and matured and excelled so much this year. He was the first one of our students to fundraise money for hurricane victims this past fall and has shown great strength and confidence in helping others. This is why the student, this student is receiving the George Washington Award. And the recipient is Mr. Ryan Locker. Okay, the Groucho Marx Award. Hmm. This person has said on several occasions that their favorite thing about school is their ability to make his teachers laugh. Boy, does that describe him. Mr. Mark... You bring joy and happiness and wonder to every situation that you are in. You represent, you have shown love 
and manners and great character. And you are the recipient of the Groucho Marx Award. Come on over. Thank you very much. The Susan B. Anthony Award. This person is bright, has shown dedication and great spirit. She has shown great strength and determination this year. Her leadership abilities have grown exponentially this year as well. Due to this quality, this student is receiving the Susan B. Anthony Award, and it goes to Miss Caitlin Knight. Okay, so the next award is the Georgia O'Keeffe Award. This person has, is a great student and has shown their artistic abilities this year and has, been, and has shown that this has been a wonderful year to them. They have been motivated and creative in all of their classes. And this is why they have received the Georgia O'Keeffe Award in recognition, in recognition for such strengths. And they have shown their artistic ability as well. And it goes to Miss Megan Tribe. Hmm. This one is very fitting. Okay, so this award is called the Kevin Hart Award. I, is this because they're so goofy? Could this be it? When any of this student's friends feel down, this student is always there to lift and raise their spirits. They, he provides such comic relief to the situation and shows to be a very empathetic and sympathetic man. And the recipient of the Kevin Hart Award is Mr. Logan Warkey. <laughs> oh, take a picture. The next award is called the Steve Jobs Award. Remember the former um, Apple computer CEO and the founder of the company? This person is our tech guy. Yeah, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I think he figured out that he won. Is it me? No, don't assume. <laughs> They have been extremely creative in their games and creative in how they help others and they enjoy helping the teachers. The winner of, we'll see if this student is right or wrong, it's Mr. Matthew Locker. I told you, I told you. Shake my hand, all right. This is very nice, great. <laughs> This person is not a wilting flower. She's bold. She's brave. She's, you all, you use the word that means the exact same thing. Bold, brave, strong, <laughs> bright. This person is an energetic and an enthusiastic learner and it's contagious to all of their classmates. She strives to be, she strives to never give up. She is a woman who demands attention in the room. When she walks in, everyone pays attention. Because of these qualities, 
The Eleanor Roosevelt Award is given to Miss Carleen Miller. Yay! <laughs> okay. Neil deGrasse Tyson Award for their accomplishments in science. This person is a tried and true scientist who is always looking for the most logical way to solve a problem for their hard work and intelligence and their wonderful questions. This is why they are receiving the Neil deGrasse Tyson Award for their curious spirit. And this goes to Mr. Aidan Morton Caposa. The last but not least is the Ellen DeGeneres Award. <laughs> this goes to the person who always has a smile, is kind-hearted, empathetic and sympathetic, willing to help, and a joy whose laughter affects the entire room. Because of all of these qualities, Wait, where's Jalen? Oh, she's right there. I'm sorry. Jalen, you are the recipient of the Ellen DeGeneres Award. Congratulations. Mr. Pettinato, come here. Oh, wait. Okay. So when I came from the Western Pennsylvania School for the Deaf in Pittsburgh, every year we present the Presidential Award when I found that this school did not have this award, the three of us administrators talked and decided that we would s establish this as a yearly tradition. So we are going to hand out the Presidential Award for Excellence in Academics, or I'm sorry, Academic Achievement. And then we are also going to give the Citizenship Award. So the three of us administrators talked about which student deserved this award the most, and we are now going to announce that winner. The first, the citizen, Jacob Decker. Hold on, come here, come here. Just hold on a minute. I'm going to explain something. So you receive this award for wonderful school spirit, great behavior, and your volunteer to w help others in the community. Congratulations, great job. 
We're going to have you stand right over there, buddy. Another round of applause. Okay, so for high school, for our citizenship award goes to Mr. Estarlin Sanchez. Wonderful, thank you very much. All right, so we give the next award to Taylor Beagle. Great job. Okay. Now we have two awards for academic achievement. The first award goes is for Well, first let me explain why we picked this student. These two students. They had great performance in the classroom. Exceptional behavior were nice and kind to others and followed the rules. Because, and then we use these criteria to decide who deserved the award. All of you want to win this award next year? You have to follow these three criteria, okay? All right, so the first winner is Mr. Adam. Was that a sticker? Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Another round of applause. Wait there. You can wait there. The next award goes to, well, no surprise, Mr. Aiden Martin Caposa. Another round of applause for our, our winners. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, we have a very special performance for you. So we are going to be performing the This Is Me with Miss Carlene Miller. And Miss Kayla Miller.
stranger to the dark Hide away, they say Cause we don't want your broken parts I've learned to be ashamed of all my scars Run away, they say No one will love you as you are But I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious When the sharpest words wanna cut me down for the sin of blood, gonna drown in mind. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. I make no apologies. This is me. Wonderful performance. Let's give him another round of applause. All right. So this concludes our program for today. We are going to be inside today for lunch. So the students are going to be dismissed to go back to their classrooms. If you would please leave now. Students, please go back to your classrooms.